Hi, my name is Megan and I am a chemistry graduate student at Colorado State University and I am working on developing a sensor to detect nitric oxide in brain tissue slices. Now we learned from Matt, the biology fellow, that certain cells are born in the hip hypothalamus and must migrate to the superoptic nucleus in order to perform their desired function. Through a mathematical modeling, it was determined that the way in which cells migrate is through a random lock model with a directional pull. This was demonstrated when you guys did the modeling of the random walk using the football field and the spinners. As you learned during the activity, it took different amounts of time for cells to reach their target and there are many different paths that were taken. In tissues, it is generally seen that the cells do not go too far away from a desired path and that there are boundaries in which they must stay. It is proposed that this path or these boundaries are governed by a chemical concentration gradient that the cell senses and responds to. Currently, the exact identity of this chemical is unknown. However, certain chemicals are known to be involved in cellular movement. One of these chemicals is nitric oxide. In order to determine if the directional pull is nitric oxide, we are developing a biosensor. This biosensor will act like a molecular camera providing information regarding how much nitric oxide is present. By knowing how much is present, we can begin to further refine our mathematical model of cellular movement. The biosensor that we are developing uses a technique called electrochemistry, which studies the transfer of electrons, also known as current. We can use electrochemistry to study the concentration, which is the amount of substance present. This concentration is proportional to the current. Therefore, by observing the current, we can determine what the concentration of nitric oxide is at various locations in the brain at various times. In this activity, you will be measuring the current through chemical solutions with different concentrations using a multimeter. You will see the effect of the solution's concentration on the current response.